This session is on questions on chain of subjects. And for chain of subjects, I want my students to see certain questions that are likely they can find in their examination. This is both for the junior high school and the senior high school. Question one, make T the subject of the relation. Make T the subject of the relation V is equal to U plus A T. Now, you have been asked to make T the subject, so you will let T stand alone. But you see T is being attacked to A. This means A T, either you leave it at the left hand side of the equation or at the right hand side of the equation. So this one becomes V minus U equal to A T. Now we want t, but not a, so we divide 2 by a. So a will cancel a. We have t is equal to a minus u over a. So if either they say make t the subject of the relation or express t in terms of u, a, and b, they can make the question like that too. So that's question 1. Question 2. Make u the subject of the relation 1 over f is equal to 1 over b plus 1 over u, and find the value of u when f is equal to 6, and v is equal to 3. Or they can say, find the value of u when f is equal to 6, and v is equal to 3. The first thing you should do is that you should first make u the subject, if they state the question like that. So now, 1 over f is equal to 1 over v, plus 1 over u. You have been asked to make you the subject. So always if you are given something like this, the LCM becomes F V U. If the denominators were A, B, C, the LCM will become A, B, C. Take notes. So you multiply 2 by the LCM so that we eliminate the fraction. So now it becomes 1 over F times F V U is equal to 1 over V times F V plus 1 over U times F V U. This will cancel this. V will cancel V and U will cancel U. So 1 times V U is V U. It's equal to 1 times F U. F U plus 1 times F V is F V. But you have been asked to make U the subject. So you move this 1. You see U is being attacked to F. So you move it to the left hand side of the equation, it becomes v u minus f u equal to f v. If you have something like this, we factorize because the common one should be worked out. So always for change of subject, if you are given square roots, the first thing you should do is that you should eliminate the square roots by squaring both sides to eliminate the square roots. If there is a fraction to you multiply through by the LCM to eliminate what? The fraction. So take notes. And also, when there is factorization, you apply factorization. So you see, this question, I first multiply through by the LCM. Because the LCM will eliminate this one. So always, if there is a fraction, find the LCM. You multiply through by the LCM. After that, if there is the need to factorize, you factorize. Now, what is the common letter here? The common letter here is U. That's the common one. So, V minus F is equal to F V. So, we divide through by V minus F because we want U. V minus F. So, U is equal to F V over V minus F. But you have been asked to find U when F is equal to 6 and V is equal to 3. So, what is F? F is equal to what? 6. And V is equal to 3. So 3 minus 6. Because V is equal to 3, F is equal to 6. 6 times 3 is 18 over negative 3. So we have U is equal to negative 6. So now question 3. Express J in terms of the relation T is equal to 2 pi square root of L over J. Now for this question, you square both sides of the equation. So if this becomes t squared, it's equal to 2 squared. 
pi squared. So we will square this one to L over T and we put it in that square. So T squared is equal to what is 2 squared? It's 4 pi squared. So this one will cancel this one. It becomes L over J. But you have been asked to express J in terms of the relations. This means make it in the subject. If they give the question like this to you, it's the same as make it in the subject. So what is the LCM? The LCM is J. So it becomes J times T squared. It's equal to 4 pi squared L over J. This will cancel this. So j t squared is equal to 4 pi squared f. We want to make j the subject, so we divide 2 by t squared. So j is equal to 4 pi squared f over t squared. So I have expressed j in terms of the relation t is equal to 2 pi squared root l over j. Question 4. Make C the subject of the relation 1 over C is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. Hence, find C if I, C1 is equal to 6 and C2 is equal to 2. I, I, C1 is equal to 15 and C2 is equal to 10. So you have been given 1 over C is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So we are now making C the subject. And now, as I always say, the LCM always the denominators, you combine them. So it's C, C1, C2. Even if they give you C2, C3, C4, the LCM is C2, C3, C4. So you multiply two by the LCM. So it becomes C, C1, C2 times 1 over C. It's equal to C, C1, C2 times 1 over C1 plus C, C1, C2 times 1 over C2. So this will cancel this. This will cancel this. This will cancel this. So it becomes C1, C2 is equal to C, C2 plus C, C1. So you have been asked to make C the subject. So you put the components containing C and you realize C1, C2 is here. So this means you factorize this one because the common one is out, which is C. So C1, C2 is equal to C out, C2 plus C1. So you see now, we have reached this stage. So what you do is that, so C, C2 plus C1. So you divide 2 by C2 plus C1. C2 plus C1. So we have C is equal to C1. C2 over C2 plus C1. So I have made C the subject. Ah, you have been asked to find C if C1 is equal to 6 and C2 is equal to 2. So what is C1? So C1 is equal to what? 6 and C2 is equal to 2 over 2 plus 6. So 12 over what? 8. 12 goes here 2, 12 goes here 3. So we have 3 over 2. And 3 over 2 is the same as 1.5. 1.5. We have I I. I I. I I. If C1 is equal to 15, C2 is equal to what? 3. So 15, 3 over 3 plus 15. So we have 45 over 18. 3 goes here 15. 3 goes here 6. Because 3 times 6 is 18. 3 goes here 5. 3 times 5 15. 3 goes here 2. So we have C is equal to 2.5. So always for change of subject, you always care rules, fractions and brackets if they are in it. And after that, once you have cleared your fractions, brackets or roots, what you will do is that. You will group the letter they are talking of that, make that letter the subject. Once you group that letter, you factorize that letter if there is the need to factorize. So the now, question 5. F is equal to J U over J plus U. Find J. 
if f is equal to 20 and u is equal to 5. So you see now, they have asked you to find v. But to solve this question, you should first make v the subject of the relation. You see, they have kept it silent. You should make v the subject of the relation. So they should have stated it that I make v the subject of the relation f is equal to v u over v plus u. I find v if f is equal to 20 and u is equal to 5. You see, they are just tricking you. It's not difficult. So let's make our v the subject. So v u. So this f is the same as over 1. So it's f over 1 is equal to v u over v plus u. Because every whole number is over 1. Or a letter is over 1. So you cross multiply. We have v u times 1 is equal to f v plus u. So v u is equal to f v. f times v is f v plus f times u is f u. You have been asked to make one the subject, v. So you making v the subject, you group v on one side of the equation. So let's group it to the left hand side or at the left hand side of the equation. It becomes v u minus f v is equal to f u. So now you can factorize v. So it's v. v. u minus f is equal to f u. And since we have this, you divide 2 by u minus f. Here 2 by u minus f. So we have v is equal to f u over u minus f. Now they are giving f to be 20. And u to be 5. So we have 5 minus 20. So it's 100 over negative 15. 5 goes here 20. 5 goes here at 3. So we are having negative 20 over 3. And so you changing this one to this one, it becomes negative 6 point 6 6. So we can this one. That's your answer. So change of subject is not difficult. We are on the last question. On the last question. Make n the subject of the relation y is equal to a bracket c plus 1 over x bracket plus raised to the power 1 over 3. So you have been given this 1 over x, 1 over 3. So you see this question is not difficult. It's not difficult. We will eliminate this one. That this one over three. So we want to eliminate this one. So you keep both sides of the equation. You keep both sides. So here is y cube equal to a cube. So c plus one over x. One over three cube. So we have y cube is equal to a cube. So this will cancel this one c plus 1 over x. So we have y cube is equal to a cube times c. We have a cube c. So, so a cube times c is a cube c plus a cube times 1 over x is a cube over x. Now, you have been asked to make x the subject. The LCM is x. So you multiply 2 by the LCM, which is x. It becomes x times y cube is equal to x times a cube c plus a cube over x times x. So we have x y cube is equal to this will cancel this. We have x a cube c plus a cube. So you put x on one side of the equation. It becomes minus x a cube c plus no, this is equal to a cube. So let's factorize. We have x out y cube minus a cube c is equal to a cube. So you divide two by y cube minus a cube c over y cube minus a cube c. This will cancel this. We have x is equal to a cube over y cube minus a C. So this is our final answer. So you see we are having this as our answer. If this portion 
was 1 over 2 raised to the power 1 over 2. This means you will square both sides of the equation. You will square both sides. This means here becomes y squared, a squared, times the square. So it's not difficult. But this time they give you 1 over 3. This question is not difficult. Students, don't let this question confuse you. So you see, let me take this question again. It's not difficult. The last question. Now, I have given you this question. And I said to solve for this question, you should eliminate this one. That's used to the power 1 over 3. So to eliminate it, you find the cube of both sides of the equation. So here is y cube is equal to a cube. Bracket c plus 1 over x. Bracket plus 1 over 3 times 1. This cube. You see this bracket is affecting this one over three. That's why I didn't kill the C and also this. This one is affecting the bracket. So you cube it so that the three will cancel this three. You multiply it by the cube. So the next thing becomes Y cube is equal to A cube bracket C plus one over X. You see I have eliminated this one. I have cancelled it. I have cancelled it. So it's y cube is equal to a cube c, because this time this is this, plus a cube times 1 is what? a cube over x. So our LCM is what? x. Because in fraction, if the denominator is 1, this means the LCM is the denominator of that fraction. So you multiply 2 by the LCM. So we have x times y cube is equal to x times a cube c plus a cube over x times the x, so x will come to x. So we have this times this, we are getting this, this times this, we have this, plus the a cube, because this has cancelled out. So we want to make x the subject. You group x on one side of the equation. I group it at the left hand side of the equation. So we are getting this, s y cube minus s a cube c is equal to a cube. So we can factorize x is out, so y cubed inside the bracket minus a cubed c equal to a cubed. You divide through by y cubed minus a cubed c, here through by the same. So we are getting this one. It's not difficult. It's not what? Difficult. Students, I believe, noble students, you have really enjoyed my lesson on change of subject this afternoon. I brought out certain questions, how to solve some questions on change of subject. And I said, for change of subject, whenever there is a fraction, root and bracket, you will clear either the fraction, bracket or root. After that, you group the letter, they want you to make it the subject. And when there is a need to factorize, you factorize it out. So after factorizing, it's easy for you to make that letter subject. Thank you and have a nice day.